Well hello there guys, today I would like to welcome you to the new series which will be called Minecraft and Real Life. The series will be mainly focusing on the train models and will be coming out every su Sunday, so basically every week from now. In addition, I plan separate the series from City Skylands, which will be coming out on Wednesday or Thursday, depending on my schedule, but I think it will be mostly on Thursdays. So there is a lot to look forward to. In this series of Minecraft, you will see the train model in Minecraft and then its real life version. I will also share some facts and we're gonna take a look at how these things work in life. Where you can find them, actually, and when and what they are used for. Today we will start with the one and only Transrapid Maglev train system. At the beginning of each episode, I would like to ask you a question related to the train or vehicle what you what will be talking about and if you get the correct answer you will get a shout out in the next episode so for today's question today's question is for how long and what speed can maglev maintain on commercial line pay attention and watch the video till the end so you don't miss a chance to win the shout out okay so let's jump straight into it so the Transrapid is a German developed high speed monorail train that uses magnetic levitation as its propulsion. Germans began to plan for the Transrapid system already in 1969. The testing of the system was conducted at a testing facility in Emsland, Germany, which was completed in 1987. Technical readiness was approved by the German state railway company Deutsche Bahn Bundesbahn today's Deutsche Bahn, in 1991. There were nine versions of the Transrapid Maglev train system. The newest version was introduced in 2007 and was capable of cruising speed of 500 km per hour. If we consider average speed of various means of transportation, such as car driving at 75 km per hour, ordinary train 120 km per hour, Transrapid 500 km per hour, and airliner 900 km per hour, then the Transrapid system is the fastest way of transportation at distance from 150 km to 1100 km. Therefore, the magnetic expressway could be used more than air transport at these medium distances. First and only commercial implementation of Transrapid Maglev system was completed in 2004 in Shanghai. Total cost should be around 1.33 billion USD. The system called Shanghai Maglev Train connects the city of Shanghai's rapid transit network to Shanghai Pudong International Airport. Length of the Maglev Expressway between Shanghai Pudong International Airport Station and Longyang Road Station is 30.5 km. The Maglev reaches speed of 431 km per hour and maintains it for 50 seconds. Because the 30 km long track allows speed to be only maintained for a short time before the deceleration must begin. Whole journey takes only 7 minutes and 18 seconds. Second class ticket will cost you roughly around 50 Chinese yuan, which is something around 7 euros or 8 USD. There is also a first class option, but I think that's not worth it for uh, only 7 minute journey. Unfortunately, this is still by now the only Transrapid line in the world and another one has not been yet deployed on long distance intercity line. Why is it though? Here are some explanations. Firstly, there was a serious accident in September 2006 on the test tracks in Laten in Germany, which also negatively, uh, negatively affected Transrapid's reputation. Maglev vehicle collided with a maintenance vehicle at speed of 170 km per hour. Both vehicles partially derailed and were severely damaged. And 23 people died and in the accident and 11 more were injured. The accident was caused by human error because the maintenance vehicle was still on the track when Maglev left the station. This could be avoided by implementing an automatic collision avoidance system during the production process. Secondly, there were many plans for commercial use and one of them was the 264 km long line between Berlin and Hamburg. 
the line should serve as a pilot project for new rent transrapid system. Journey time of 60 minutes and a cruising speed of 450 km per hour was envisaged. However, in year 2000, due to the political reasons and financial reasons, the construction plans were cancelled. Eventually, it was decided to build a high-speed train line between these cities. Most recent plan was to connect Munich Airport with Munich Central Station. The track was meant to be 37 km long and Transrapid could cruise at a speed of 350 km per hour, which would result in journey time only of 10 minutes. However, the construction was cancelled on 27 March by the German government due to massive overrun in costs. The rise of the cost was not due to the cost of the maglev technology itself, but due to the cost of the tunnel construction and related civil engineering. So those were the plans for Germany. Unfortunately, the license for the Emsland test track expired a facility was closed down. Demolition would be expensive and it is still scheduled from early 2012 and has not been carried out yet. Although the German transfer system has seen only one commercial project so far, its speed, environmental friendliness and safety, no threat of derailment and the not affected by weather, will be hopefully used in another maglev technology at some point in the future of transportation. Nowadays, some countries around the world are getting ready for implementing their own maglev technologies, such as Japan with its Shinkansen L0 series. But that's another topic for some of my next videos. Thank you for watching guys and for your time of course. Be sure to like, share and subscribe and comment what do you think of Transrapid system and we can discuss that in a uh, comment section together. And I will see you in the next episode. See you again.